Hello Linux fans, Rob, Rob here, here and welcome to Linux, Linux Quest. Quest. Well, the new Linux Mint 20 beta has arrived and I'm let down just a little bit. I mean, it's beta, things could change. There are some improvements. There's also some takeaways. So we're gonna take a look at what those changes are and talk about those takeaways a little bit as well. So first up uh, on the list of things, uh, there's a new kernel. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up system info. I have this installed on the laptop. Under Linux Mint 20, you're gonna get Cinnamon version 4.6.3 with an updated kernel of 5.4. That's going to you know, bring with it improved hardware support. One of the other things that you're going to get is the new Warpinator tool. So let's go ahead and take a look at that as well. Now, I'm not set up with a network or anything here, but this would be the tool where you'd go in and launch the local network file transfer setup. And uh, there was some debate as to whether to change the name. They decided to stay with Warpinator, which is kind of cool. But I have no other uh, computers set up for the network at this time, so can't really step you through the process. Uh, LibreOffice has been updated to 4.6, which is a much more frequent version than in Linux Mint 19.3. Got the dark theming in place, and that carries right over to LibreOffice and really does a nice job kind of giving the... Uh, the OS, a really cohesive feel, keeping that theme all together there. There's also some new wallpaper, so we'll take a look there. And one of the things within the theming that I read quite a bit about when first looking at some of the beta features or some of the new features that were going to be in Linux Mint 20, they were talking about additional icon sets with more vivid colors. And while these could be more vivid. It's just really hard to tell because I also read in the forums that the feedback was not very good for these additional vivid colors and so they were debating on whether to include them or not. So I'd have to go back and really do a side-by-side -side comparison on this exact monitor to tell. On the laptop they do look more vivid but on the external monitor here not so much. But there is the inclusion of a new mint white dark yellow and mint Y yellow Let's see where the yellow is. Do we have that within the theme? Okay, that's interesting. So you get the folder, but you don't really get the matching theme. And maybe that'll come, maybe that'll come once they decide exactly what they're going to do with the icon set. So let's see if you get anything here. No, it looks like you have sand as well. So we'll stay with aqua and just close that out and take a quick look. And that brings me to another point. Nemo is supposed to be faster if you have show thumbnails turned on. What it's going to do is pull in generic icons uh, that you'll see and that'll all populate until it gets everything brought in for your thumbnail view. And those don't look exactly great. On this monitor they kind of look mustard yellow against that dark theme which is kind of blah. But anyway, to each his own there, there might be someone watching this who loves that. So I have an external HP monitor, 27 inch monitor set up. And from here, we could go with 75, 100, and 125 for this particular monitor. On the laptop itself, I can go from 75 up to 200 with the zoom level and scale that up in those increments as opposed to 100 or 200. Let's take a quick look at the wallpapers. We'll go ahead and change this to the default wallpaper, which I believe was this one. So when you launch in, this is what you'll see. And then we'll go in and take a look at the additional wallpapers. My taste, eh, there's a few that are okay, but nothing that's, well, let's see, that's kind of cool looking. For outdoor scenery. Beach is quite nice. Some of them are just, I don't know, so-so. I'll leave it at that. Not that impressed, really, with the selection of wallpapers. Some of the new, newer Linux Mint wallpapers are kind of cool. Very dark. You probably can't see the tiles, but there, there are tiles. Probably can't see that in the video. But, hey, wallpapers don't make an OS, so that's easily rectified. But the big thing here for me is, and I guess the part that, you know, is room for debate, it's not like a huge deal breaker, but I don't understand their reasoning t entirely. So they removed snap packages from this version of Linux Mint. And while that's not, you know, it, you can add them back in, so it's not, you know, earth shattering that there's no way to recover and come back and 
be able to use Snap. Some people don't like Snaps. I get that. Other people like the convenience of Snaps. But in this case, if we were to go in and try to set up Chromium in this particular version, you're not going to find Chromium. It's a dummy package. Right here. So you'll think you're installing Chromium if you don't look closely and see that you uh, are really installing the dummy package only to find out that it's not really installing anything. Um, so there are already tutorials on how to set up snap packages at which point you could then use the Chromium snap and there's a lot of other snaps. Now maybe again you're someone who just doesn't want to use snaps and there are alternative ways of setting up Chromium. So again it's not a deal breaker it's just kind of for me it's almost like they're taking one step forward and two steps back are you removing it just to be different um, do you have some kind of issue with snap packages developers that you know you're just I don't know I guess I'll read in more to it maybe you folks have more to say about it maybe you've got an opinion you want to share please do so um, I for one don't have an issue with snaps I enjoyed having both Flatpak and Snap access in the previous previous version of Linux Mint. So we'll we'll see kind of what happens. This is beta. They're probably gonna they're gonna have a week or two to kind of shake things out, and we'll see what changes are in the final version. We'll certainly keep an eye on that. But love to hear your thoughts about it. If you're gonna try it out or just wait for the final release, to me this isn't a huge huge update going to 20. Yes, it's gonna add hardware support, but I didn't have a uh, an issue with hardware support on the previous version. So for me personally, I'm just feeling a little bit blah about this particular uh, beta version of Linux Mint 20. All right, thanks for watching.